Hello everyone, welcome to IAE. In this video, we will solve a problem on power electronics, which states that a single phase fully controlled rectifier is supplying a load with an anti-parallel diode as shown in the figure. So what is shown in the figure? We see there are four thyristors connected and there is an input voltage source, there is a diode connected at the output side and there is a load connected. Then they are saying all the switches and the diodes are ideal. What does that mean? The voltage drop across the thyristor or the diode is zero. They are not consuming any voltage drop. Then which one of the following is true for the instantaneous load voltage and current? Mind it, here they are asking about the instantaneous voltage. Okay. So the answers are given as VO, the output voltage and the IO, whether this is greater than or equal to zero and IO equal to less than zero or VO is less than zero or IO is less than zero or whether VO is greater than zero and IO is greater than or equal to zero and this way. So we have to find out which option is correct, right? But we can't find out which option is correct if we do not draw the output voltage of this rectifier. Okay, so let's draw the output voltage. Okay, so to do that first we have to draw the input voltage. So let us draw the input voltage and this will be the input voltage, right? This is the omega t axis and this is the input voltage Vi and this is basically Vi, okay. So to draw the output voltage, what we need to do? First, we have to mark the zero crossing points. These are the zero crossing points, right? Okay, fine. This point is pi, this point is 2 pi, 3 pi and so on. Okay, fine. So we see that in the positive half cycle, this voltage is positive and this voltage is negative. So we can say this thyristor and this thyristor will be forward biased. Fine. So if this is so, let us call this is T1, T2. Then what we see? The output voltage will be this positive will appear here and this negative will appear here. Right. So let us say also T1 and T2 are triggered at some firing angle alpha. So this is our alpha. So here we say the output voltage will be this one, right? Because the input voltage, the devices are ideal. The input voltage will appear across the load. So output voltage is the input voltage. Fine. Now we also have to find out what is the status of the output current, right? So in this axis, we will draw the this is output voltage and here will be our output current. Okay, fine. So this is the alpha point. This is the pi point. Now we do not know about the what type of load is connected. They have not told us what type of load it is. Also, we can assume that the load is we have to take whether it is purely resistive or there is an inductance present. We have to consider both of them because they have not told us about the status of the load. Okay, fine. We will consider both of them. Let us assume the load is inductive type. So what we can say, the current will start from here, okay? So we can assume that before the next triggering, that is at the pi plus alpha, because to keep the symmetry, if T1 and T2 is triggered at the alpha point, T3, T4 must be, this is our T3, this is our T4, T3, T4 must be triggered at the pi plus alpha, right? So we can say the current waveform will be something like that. Now we do not know, as I said, we do not know about the status of the load. We can assume that current, current did not come to the zero. Okay, fine. Next, if we trigger at the point pi plus alpha, T3 and T4, what we can say? This T3 will commute this T1 and T2 and T4 will commute this T2 and basically they will be off at this point and T3, T4 will be on and subsequently in the negative half cycle, this polarity has been changed. Now this positive voltage will appear here through T3 and the negative voltage will appear here through T4. So also we will get the output voltage to be like this. Okay. Now you may think what about this pi to pi plus alpha, right? We see that from pi to pi plus alpha, there is a diode connected. So if there is some inductance present, that inductance will release its energy through this diode and subsequently the output voltage will be zero. Why? Because when a diode is connected at the output side, the output can never go to the negative swing. 
because this will be short circuit inductor will release its energy through this path and if it releases the energy the diode is short circuit if the diode is short circuit then the output voltage is zero so we will get the zero output voltage here but there exists some current that current will be carried out by this diode if it is so also we can assume that there is no inductance sir you may tell me sir there is no inductance in that case what will happen this will be it, this will follow the input voltage and it will come to zero so there is no question of conduction of the diode okay also there is some small inductance the waveform can be also something like this isn't it it may come to zero and for this small portion the diode will conduct anyway we understood about the status of the current and if we extend this what we will get the output voltage waveform will be zero it never goes to the negative swing and here the same thing will happen we will get the output voltage and we can get the current waveform either it can touch the zero axis or it can be continuous also whatever you can assume but as i said we do not know the status of the voltage but to find out the answer now first of all understand one thing the thyristor can never conduct in the reverse direction current will always flow from anode to cathode from cathode to anode it can never current can never flow right isn't it all of you know that so in that sense what will happen the io is less than zero this can never be true so we can strike out this can't be answered because io is less than zero now the remaining is c and d which states that output voltage which states that io is greater than zero absolutely fine now we have to find out what about the voltage we can say between c and d vo is less than zero it is said in the d option can vo be uh, i mean uh, can vo have negative swing the answer is no because there is a diode connected we actually connect the diode to eliminate the negative swing so there can't be any negative swing so this can't be the answer so the right answer will be this one as we see the output current is always greater than zero also it can be zero depending upon the load that's why greater than equal to zero they also have told us the instantaneous load voltage and current and the instantaneous voltage is what it is always zero and it also touches the zero axis so the right answer will be this one vo is greater than equal to zero and io is greater than equal to zero hope you understand the concept and hope you like the video thank you for watching